a major change in air defense strategy and a setback to French and American aerospace behemoths, Peru has revealed its intention to acquire 20 Saab James 39 Gripen E fighter jets to $3.5 billion purchase, which aims to update Peru's age fleet of French Mirage 2000s and Soviet Tira M IG 29s, defeated bids from Dassault for the Rafael F for and Lockheed Martin for the F 16 Block 70. Speaking at the Air Force installation, the President of Peru characterized the purchases as a pillar of both national prosperity and security. A formal agreement is anticipated to be signed during Swedish Defense Minister PPL Johnson's July 10th visit to Lima, following years of evaluation. Fuerza Aérea del Perfap, the Peruvian Air Force, now uses a combination of 20 Cessna A37 Dragonfly light attack planes, 8 MiG-29s, 8 Su-25 ground attack aircraft, and 11 Mirage 200P jets. The majority of these aircraft are outdated and have been in service for more than 40 years. This driving force prompted Peru to search for a cutting-edge multi-role fighter jet that could handle a variety of threats, from ground support to air defense in the untamed Andes. Peru's defense minister Walter Enrique Astudillo Chavez declared that the Gripen E, with its sophisticated avionics and low operating costs, was the winner of a competitive tender process that started in earnest in 2024. With a maximum speed of Mach 2.0 and a combat radius of roughly 800 miles, to Saab James 39 Gripen, it's a 4.5 generation multi role fighter jet that produces 22,000 pounds of thrust thanks to a single General Electric F41 for, for G engine that was evolved from the F for overutilized in earlier Gripen models. Fly-by-wire controls combined with its delta wing and canard layout guarantee outstanding maneuverability, making it ideal for a range of operating conditions in Peru, from coastal areas to the Andean highlands. Leonardo's Raven ES-05 active electronically scan array ESA radar, which can detect and track numerous targets at a distance of more than 100 miles, has enhanced target detection and tracking capabilities. A vast array of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weaponry are supported by the jet's adaptable armament. These weapons include the American-made AM-9X Sidewinder for close combat, the short-range IRSD, and the long-range Meteor missile, which is renowned for its capabilities beyond visible range. Peru has a powerful strike capability because to the Gripenese ability to carry Taurus kept 350 cruise missiles, GBU series precision guided bombs, and AGM-65 Maverick missiles for ground attacks. The airframe's efficacy in close air support missions is increased by the integration of a 27mm Mauser BK-27 gun. Advanced jammer and countermeasure systems in the jet's electronic warfare package added to dodge threats and interfere with enemy radar to crucial capabilities for missions in disputed areas. Saab highlights how the modular avionics architecture of the Gripen knee enables quick software updates and the incorporation of new technology. A major benefit for a nation with a tight budget like Peru is that this flexibility guarantees the plane can adjust to new threats without requiring expensive repairs. Because of its small logistics footprint just 500 meters for takeoff and 600 meters for landing the aircraft is perfect for small airfields, which are prevalent in Peru's more rural regions. The primary selling feature of the Gripeni is its affordability. 
According to public estimates, its cost per unit is between $70 million and $120 million, which is far less than the claimed $240 million for the Rafale and the $75 million to $100 million per aircraft, depending on configuration, for the F-16 Block 70. There are important geopolitical ramifications to Peru's decision to select the Gripen E over rival American and French aircraft, especially for the U.S., with F-16s being utilized by air forces in Chile, Colombia, and Venezuela. Latin America has long been a significant market for U.S. defense exports. By filling in long-standing gaps in its present fleet, the Gripen E will greatly enhance the Peruvian Air Force's operational capabilities. With just a small portion of the 11 Mirage and 8 MIG-9 aircraft in service at any given time, the Mirage 200P, which was first introduced in 1985, and the MIG-29, which was purchased in the 1990s, have low readiness rates. The Gripenese adoption by Peru marks a change in the fighter aircraft market globally, especially in Latin America, where Saab is gaining ground. After Colombia decided in April 2025 to buy 16 to 20 for Gripen, he, F Jets and Brazil ordered 36 in 2014. The Peru agreement is Saab's third significant regional victory in recent years. The Saab Gripen is a high-performance jet with low operating costs, quick delivery, and an appealing value proposition that can be customized to meet local requirements. As evidenced in Brazil and suggested in Peru, the company's readiness to make investments in domestic industry aligns with developing nations' priorities.